establish once again how you feel in your back. Maybe your back is loosened out. Maybe you still need some support underneath your sitting bones. Make sure that you've got your bolster. We're going to use the bolster for this one. So from your cross-legged position, open the left leg out to the side and keep your right leg curled in. Bring the bolster on the inside of your left leg. Starting here. Take your time to turn through the lower spine. So you're gently turning through this lower part here, soften in the belly and start to bring the hands to the bolster. You're aiming your body towards your left leg. You may find that you want to bend your elbows and rest your forearms on the bolster. You may find that the bolster doesn't help you at all and you just want to place your hands on the floor. Now, whichever variation you choose, be kind. Listen to what your body is saying. Just allow your body to guide you and not you guiding your body. We're going to hold this pose for three minutes. So take your time with it. There's absolutely no rush. You're very gently allowing gravity now to take over and to help you with your stretch. If you want to fold over completely through the neck and the spine, do so. Remember that the most important here is to relax and release in those muscles as much as you can. So you may be feeling it around your lower back on the right side. Some of you might be feeling it in your hips, probably down the inside of the left leg and the back of the left leg. As long as you're not feeling any sharp shooting pain, you're fine. A dull ache sometimes, a nagging sensation, a gentle pulling sensation, but nothing sharp or fiery. Enjoy these moments of silence. If your mind starts to take over, see if you can step away from that distraction and just come back to your body and what you're feeling. Come back to your breathing. Stay with it. You're into your last minute here. See if you can slow down your breath a little more. Sink into it a little deeper if you have the space. Okay, so count your last three breaths here. Keep the breaths nice and long. And when you feel you're ready to move, anchor your hands on the floor or the bolster and slowly support yourselves to come up. So the slower the better, to give all the tissues around your spine a chance to adjust as you straighten up. Good. So let's balance that by doing the other side. So you can place the bolster on the right side now, curl the left leg in and straighten the right leg out. 
Now be gentle with your spine as it starts to twist in the other direction. It might feel a little tender. When you're ready, remember that that rotation is coming from the lower spine. Start to soften in the belly and then curl forwards. Either placing the hands on the floor or the bolster or bending in the forearms and bending the elbows. So three minutes from here. Again, three minutes is a long time, so plenty of time to play around and explore what feels right on this side. So take a nice deep breath in as you exhale, soften and let go. Begin to release again in the face and around your jaw. Relax in the neck all the way down into your hips and your legs. Become a dead weight. If you find that there are any muscles that are still gripping or holding on, see if you can encourage those muscles to let go. Draw your breath deep into those areas. And stay with it if your mind is starting to take over again. Step away from your mind, down out of your head, down into your hips, in your legs. You're into your final minute. Okay, so count your last three breaths here. Take your time. And then slowly start to curl up through the spine. So you can use your hands for support as you guide your body up again. Be mindful and gentle. So from here, we're just going to take a few moments of rest. Come back into your cross-legged position. Gently straighten up through the spine. Rest your hands on your legs and close your eyes. Nice deep breaths here, just allowing the sensations to move through your tissues. Keep your face relaxed, just observe where those sensations are, where they go, or whatever else is there. Take one more deep breath. Exhale, open your eyes. Let's move into a butterfly pose. So bring the feet towards each other. We've all done this one together, I think. So remember that everybody is different. So you may want your feet together or they may want to be further apart, closer to the groin or further away. It's entirely up to you. Always an option to use the bolster if it's comfortable for you. You can always lean over and rest your forearms on your bolster. So once you've found your position, Start that rounding process through the spine, so chin in towards the chest. 
following the neck and your back. Just allowing your back to guide you into your final pose and releasing into it as much as you can. Either with the bolster or just coming over, resting your hands on the floor. So three minutes here. The most important again is releasing in your muscles. That's where your muscles will experience the stretch and you can move beyond your muscles into the rest of your connective tissue. Slow down your breathing. Find a little stillness between each breath. A space where you can be. Now, if you find that your body is beginning to let go, then see if you can go with it. Try not to hold on or control it because when you do that, you tense your muscles again and they're no longer stretching. Going with it bit by bit, just releasing into that stretch. It may feel more intense, but again, as long as there's no sharp shooting pain, it is still in a safe space for your body. You're into your final minute now, so stay with it. Nice, slow, deep breathing. Okay, so take your last three breaths here. Take your time. Moving out of your pose when you're ready, connecting the hands to the floor, supporting your body as you slowly curl up again through the spine and releasing back into a cross-legged position or on your knees if that's more comfortable and just taking a couple of moments there, a couple of moments of rest and connection, just observing the sensations as they move through your tissues. Being curious about your body and how it responds to these poses. Take one more deep breath. And then exhale and open your eyes. <laughs>